What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. See that red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that and show your support for the channel. For those of you stopping by the been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So, this is part three in a technically five-part series of the Hefe's line from Alexandria Fragrances, uh, where I review each of the individual four fragrances, and then we'll do a comparative, you know, kind of line talk at the end of it. So which one are we talking about today? Alexandria Fragrances, Hefe's 1984 Intense. So Hefe's 1984 Intense. So if you remember correctly, I'll actually grab them real quick. The first two that I already reviewed in the line was Hefe's 1984 and Hefe's Gold, which were actually sent to me by E.J. Wells from Happy Land Studios, hence the reason there's some handwritten Happy Land labels. So this one is actually part of a package that was sent to me by Handy Hefe's of Alexandria Fragrances. That's why I have the actual bottle now. So we actually get to go over the presentation. They have these vinyl labels, stock bottle, but the cap, they do have the Alexandria logo etched into it. Let me get in the lighting a little bit better. There we go. So you can really see it. Looks very good. Same as the logo here. Standard atomizer puts out, you know. So with the presentation, it's, it's what it is with these. They're nothing fancy. They have their own little touch though. So for the presentation, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Now, as far as this scent, I'll actually put the notes right here. So what I get in this one is this kind of takes a turn. It, Intense is a good name for it. Um, you'll notice in the notes, there's no tobacco listed, but there's definitely an underlying tobacco in this in the opening. And with these Hefe's fragrances, they're so well blended, it's hard to discern a lot of the notes, but some are prominent enough to where you can really pick them out, such as the oud. I get the oud start to finish in this one. Like I said, the underlying tobacco, I get a lot of coffee and a tinge of sweetness in the opening. Once you start hitting that transition, the transition and dry down are pretty much what and what until you get in the very deep dry down. So transition and early dry down, you're getting a lot more sweetness because the tonka bean really starts to come out a lot more. Uh, the vanilla comes in, you're getting some creaminess from the sandalwood, and, uh, and the oud is still ever so present, even going into that dry down. Now once you get into the very, very deep dry down, it's a very light vanilla and sandalwood is all you're left with. The scent on this one's very, very pleasant, as with the other two. If you like them deep, you like them dark, and you like tobacco, this is gonna be one for you. For the scent, I'm giving this one an eight out of 10. Longevity. It's everything you would expect from these extra de parfum fragrances. So even at the 12 hour mark, I was still getting wafts of it. It hit 12 hours. No reason to really clock it beyond that. Longevity is going to be a 10 out of 10. Projection. So it's on the heavy side, but it's not excessively filling a room heavy. Actually, I found Hefe's Gold uh, to project a little bit more. To be completely honest with you, that one kind of projected the most I found. Um, but this one's no slouch by any means. You're getting, you know, arm's length for a solid hour and a half. Then it, you get a nice little mild scent bubble, mild scent trail following you. Nothing real heavy, but you will smell yourself for several hours. It, it kind of radiates kind of in this range for a little while. So when you're walking, there's a trail going behind you for sure. So projection, I'm giving this one a seven out of 10. Overall, Hefe's 1984 from Alexandria Intense from Alexandria Fragrances is absolutely an 8 out of 10 fragrance. So far, this might be my favorite of the line. So the next one that I'm going to be doing is the last in the line, Hefe's Exclusive. Um, I did do a first impressions on this one and Hefe's Exclusive about a month ago. Uh, if you want to check that video out, I'll put it right there for you. Like I said, it was about roughly three weeks a month ago, something like that, that I got these in. And, uh, you know, I just had so many reviews to do. I tried to 
you know, do one here and there, slowly making my way through it. Because that's the main thing I want to do is the Hefe's line. And I got to tell you, this may, wet, may very well be my favorite. Uh, it's running a close race with the original 1984. And I like gold a lot, too. It's going to be really hard to rank them because they are very good. Um, I would say this is one that's definitely worth checking out. Don't think if you have the original 1984 that it's going to be redundant to have this one because it is not. The oud and the added sweetness changes this one. The rum is removed. It doesn't have a booziness to it. Um, it's not as sweet. It's more woody and dark, really and truly. It's more woody and dark with a little bit more sweetness. Well, different type of sweetness, if you will. It doesn't have that honey sweetness. It has that light vanilla and tonka bean type of sweetness. It's, you really got to smell it to completely understand what I'm talking about. The scent's very good on this one. And I will say, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Um, this is one that, like I said, it's. I would strongly suggest getting a sample pack from Alexandria and trying them for yourself. Because if you're not one that wants to do the whole line, maybe you try to find the right one for you. And two more videos to go. Well, one more video and then the video I'm about to describe where we'll go over the entire line and I'll break down the differences in between and how I would rank them from my favorite to least favorite. And I can tell you what so far, there's no least favorite, but if you have to pick a winner, that's the way it'll go. So until next time, guys, I will say, if you get your hands on Hefe's 1984 Intense from Alexandria Fragrances and you give it a spray now, it's a good possibility you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.